spent a lot of time lately talking about the medicinal marijuana business. Now the cannabis flu legalized. But you know what? There's an actual drug company that's been studying cannabis for years in order to create real medication, GW Pharmaceuticals. And its stock board higher today. It was up nearly 10% or 7%, $10 or 7% on the news that their lead drug is now available here in the U.S. Now, uh, make no mistake. GW Pharmaceuticals is not a medicinal marijuana play. They, uh, they make actual medicine that's been vetted by the FDA, where you know that every dose is going to be exactly the same and your insurance company will actually pay for it. Today, the company released Epidiolex. It's their epilepsy drug here in America. And they've got another one, Sativex, uh, Sativa, Sativex, for multiple sclerosis spasms. That's approved all over the world, uh, even though it's still in phase three here. I don't get that. I think there's a lot to like, though. But even after today's run, the stock has lost 20% of its value last month. So it maybe it's, it's not like you're chasing it. Don't take my word for it. Let's check in with Justin Gover. He's the CEO of GW Pharmaceuticals. Get a better sense of how his company's doing where it's headed. Mr. Gover, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, thank you for having me back on the show. When I speak to doctors, sir, the first thing that they say is, what kind of medicine can we prescribe where it may be 5% this or 10% that, or we don't know what's in it? We need an actual FDA pill that's regulated so we know what the dose is. That's what GW Pharma is offering, right? And that's what we've been working on for 20 years now. And this year has just been a, a, an extraordinary experience, a series of historic milestones as the FDA has approved the medication, the DEA has reclassified it, and today we're launching it in the United States. Can you uh, tell people about the tortured way that you had to get this? Because the, the, kid, the people who are going to be taking that pill are people that really have, will have their lives dramatically changed by you. Well, uh, the response of each patient, of course, will vary, but the evidence that we've generated in these two very difficult to treat forms of childhood epilepsy has shown for this product, Epidiolex, to reduce seizures in a material way in a number of these children. So we're hopeful that this medication can make a meaningful difference to many patients' lives across this country. Were you surprised that the, uh, that the DEA, uh, this DEA, realized how important this is and changed class one, class five? Well, I think what of this reflects is an understanding within the DEA and FDA and other circles of federal government that when you do real science, you produce data that provides evidence of safety and efficacy, and you manufacture product in a consistent way where you know exactly what is in it day in, day out, that these agencies pay attention to this. They understand there's an unmet need. They understand that Epidiolex can meet that unmet need. And therefore, I'm not so surprised, actually, that they've uh, decided to recommend, firstly, approval of the drug and then to reclassify it. I think it talks to science and it talks to addressing a real patient need. And I think we can all align on that objective. Do you think that people will understand, sir, that you actually have a dosage, that you're, like, you're just like every major drug company, instead of just getting mail order from, uh, from wherever, from a state that it's legal, or you go to an Oregon, you go to California, bring back something and take it? Do people understand the difference, sir? I think there is still a need for education out there. But as you say, there is a real difference between an FDA-approved medication and anything else. That's uh, a standard that the FDA hold. We spent years trying to meet that standard and have now done so. We believe that physicians have desperately needed a treatment option, which they know can be uh, to have the reassurance of FDA approval and believe that this is going to be an important new opportunity for patients to see the benefits at last of an FDA-approved option. Sir, you have spent a fortune trying to get this through and, to have this, and use a huge amount of science. What other applications will, will we be able to see for this because it's such an important new drug? Well, first and foremost, we will continue to seek new indications for Epidiolex within the field of epilepsy. As you mentioned in your introduction, uh, we also have a product outside the United States called Sativex, and we believe that there is potential to bring that product into the United States over the next few years. And beyond that, we believe that the potential for cannabinoids, these are molecules in the cannabis plant, 
for future FDA-approved medications is real. We're at the forefront of that science. We're leaders in the world in this area and believe that this journey is really now at its beginning in the United States to bring cannabinoid medications to patients that meet FDA requirements. And how are you going to be able to prevent uh, off-label use uh, from doctors who just say, you know what, I'll give this to you because it is it does happen to be one of the great painkillers. It does happen to do so many wonderful things for people who have, uh, let's say, post-traumatic sense uh, stress. How do you make it so that they don't use it, even though, frankly, sir, it would be good? Well, that's certainly not for me to say. And I can reassure you that that our company is uh, committed to only marketing this medication for its approved uses. Uh, physicians do have discretion as to how they prescribe, but we believe it is absolutely appropriate for this medication to be provided to patients for whom it is indicated. Are there doctors who uh, have been very reluctant to give people what we know now as just different cannabis treatments, knowing that it could be anything that's inside it and really just want something that is actually a dose? There's been an, a huge need, and we've heard voices from the medical community from several years that they need to have access to medications where they have the assurance of standardization. They know exactly what is in it. They understand the dosing. They understand its interactions, its safety profile, and in which patients to use it. So we believe that the Epidiolex product responds absolutely to that need and that our future products can similarly respond to needs in other parts of the medical community. Do uh, the majority of Congress people were willing to go with this or did it not matter? Science has led the way here as opposed to legislators or politics. And I think that's exactly the right way it should be within the field of medicine. How many other studies do you have going on right now? Well, we have phase two studies going on in a range of compounds looking at conditions such as autism and psychiatric disease. We have uh, data already in the field of multiple sclerosis and pain. We have research in oncology and earlier stage research in other areas. So there really is a great deal for us to continue to research in over the years ahead. One last question. Do you think there are companies in Canada that are being irresponsible by saying that they're medicinal when frankly they're just winging it? Well, we think it's really important to distinguish between what is medicine and what is not. FDA make that determination, and where there are products that don't meet FDA standards and have not been approved by FDA, we don't believe that they should be appropriately termed as medications. Well, I want to congratulate you for what you've done. This is a compassionate use drug. I know you worked very hard. I know there were forces that were against you, and you got it done, and you've done a great job for shareholders. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. That's Justin Gover, CEO of GW Pharma. This is a real company with the kind of science that you need if you're going to try to go after some of these really tough illnesses. Mad Money's back here. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.